And thank you to everyone who spoke and for considering what's uh, in front of you today in terms of uh, the motion that I have. Um, you know, we are, I want to, I want to start by saying that our staff work hard every day. I have to acknowledge that in housing, in social services, they're out in the front lines. They're the ones that are seeing what's happening in our community. Um, so I, I do, but, but when we think about, I want to just break down each piece, 5 million for housing that would, that could build us 40 new units. We had 200 people sleep outside in the city last night, kids, youth. We know that there are hundreds of youth who experience homelessness in the city, women and men who are tucking in under bridges, who are at risk always of opioid overdoses and dying. So that, that $5 million alone would, would, would create 40 new units, 40 families, 40 people could be housed for that. Neighborhood crisis teams for 3.2 million. Yes, we need federal uh, provincial funding. There is a role for the province in that, in, in, in nursing and nurse practitioners, but there's a role for the city as well in outreach workers, homeless outreach workers, harm reduction workers. We have to do our part. And, and putting together a neighborhood crisis team means that when you see somebody in crisis out on the street and we see it daily, we don't have to call the police. We can call a number. We can call a unit, a mobile unit, who will come, who will wrap services, that, the type of services that people need in that absolute horrible time of, of crisis in their life. It would mean that, you know, the letter I received from a woman whose brother died in a rooming house would have gotten the support that he needed there would have been somebody there to at least help them to understand what was available and, and, and help move them, you know, onto something. Our businesses in this city call on me all the time. I sit on, on BIAs. They want, you know, they, they don't want to see what is happening on the street, but there's no, we can't ask police to move people on when there's nothing to move them on to, when there's no housing, there's no services to move them on to. And to suggest that because cost of living is one point some percent that we're doing okay for people who have nothing. People who are living in poverty are not buying cars and gas and furniture and clothing and groceries. That's the cost of living at one point some percent. They need our help. It is going to cost us. So we are simply not doing enough. We got a letter. We received a letter that was signed by 80 over 80, 82 agencies in our community telling us that they need more money. Funding for Ottawa social services has not kept pace with demand. In a recent survey by the Coalition of Community Health Centers, 41% of respondents said they were reaching out for support for the first time. A full-time staff person doing crisis intake and immediate counseling would cost $66,000 a year. They could serve 355 clients each year a little bit of money, what it could do. And these are agencies in all of our communities. Are we telling them that they don't know what they're saying? That, that they really don't need that, that extra 5 million? It's Operation Come Home, Youth Homelessness. It's a Good Companions, it's The Door, Shepherds of Good Hope, AIDS Committee, Somali Center, Jewish Family Services, Ottawa Coalition to End Violence Against Women, Parkdale Food Center, the Anglican Diocese, One all of our CHCs. That's who is telling us that we need to invest. You're not out there on the front line. You're not at St. Luke's right now with a, a lineup of people around the corner just needing to be fed, but it's happening in our community. And I can tell you today's, today's arguments are ideological arguments and that you're going to make an ideological decision today because for $2 a month, I'm going to tell you if there's somebody who is at, at risk of losing their housing because of $2 a month, they need this help. They're asking for it too, because the rest of us are doing well during the pandemic. We're saving money, we're putting it away, we're not spending, but people who are at risk of losing their housing, who are unhoused, in shelter, thousands, are telling you that they need this. They need our help and we are not 
doing enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor.